Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from PresentationProcess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create cinema-like animated paint splash effect in PowerPoint. The beautiful cinema-like animated paint splash effect you will learn to create today looks like this. On a click, that is how the picture gets revealed. Isn't it beautiful? It's a very simple effect to create and it is a very impactful effect as well. Let me show you how to create this effect from scratch. All you need for this is a picture that you take from say pixabay.com and you also take the image of a paint splash. Now this is also available in pixabay.com. I will leave a link to this particular image in the description box below the video. You just need to go to free download and click on the vector graphic option. I've already done that and let me show you how exactly to ungroup the vector graphic. I'm going to first delete this. Let me go to the download folder where I have downloaded the SVG file of the paint splash. I'm going to copy it and then let me go here and paste it. All you need to do is to right click on the image, go to group and say ungroup and you get this message, don't bother, just say yes. And then you click again, go to group and say ungroup. And now you just pick up this piece here and leave the rest. So I'm going to press control X to cut it. And then I'm going to press control A to select all the other elements on the slide and I'm going to delete. And now I'm going to press control V to paste this back. And then I'm going to hold the shift button down as I click and drag from the corner so that I can have each individual piece of this size as possible. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to make multiple copies of this piece here by pressing Ctrl D and then I need to change the orientation. Maybe I can move it like this and make another copy and move it like this and so on. So you just can keep doing that till the time you're able to fill the entire slide like this. As you can see here, this is nothing but all these different pieces copied and pasted like the way that I had shown you. Once it is done, all you need to do is to select all these pieces by pressing Ctrl A, then copy by pressing Ctrl C, and then go to the page where you've got your full page picture like this, and then press Ctrl V and place it right on top of that picture. Now, the next step is very crucial. I'm going to select the photo, the full page photo. I'm going to press Ctrl C to copy and now this puts that picture in the clipboard of the computer. Then I select that picture first, hold the shift button down and then I select one of these images and then go to the format tab in PowerPoint ribbon. This is under drawing tools. Go to merge shapes and say shape intersect. So that is a very important one. And when you do that, you can see that this is how that picture comes out. So that is the first step. Now let me press Ctrl V again. Now by pressing Ctrl V, what I have done is I have got this picture that was there in the clipboard got back. So I'm going to right click and send this to back. Keep that picture selected. Then hold the shift button down as you select the next piece here. Once again, go to the same format tab, go to merge shapes and go to intersect. Now you've got two pieces. Can you see here? This is one piece and this is another piece. So like this, you need to keep pasting your picture back, send it to back and then hold the shift button down as you select the photo first and then this piece here and then go to format, merge shapes and intersect. So keep doing that till the time you are able to convert all these pieces into photos. If you do, you will get the final result like this. As you can see here, this might look like a general photo, but in reality, it is nothing but a collection of a number of small pieces which are all in the shape of paint splash like this. As you can see here, each of these is a separate piece and that is how we created this photo. Once that is done, the next step is to add animation to all the pieces. For this, I'm going to go to the Animations tab of PowerPoint Ribbon and keep the Animation pane open so you can see what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to select all the pieces here. So I'm going to select one of the pieces and then press Ctrl A to select all the pieces here. Then go to the Animations tab of PowerPoint Ribbon 
and the animation I'm going to use is called as zoom animation. It is one of the entrance animations. And then I'm going to change the duration of the individual ones to as low as 0 0.08 seconds, 0 0.08 seconds. So you can see that it is very, very short duration animation. And I'm going to have all of them after previous. So that is how we are going to do it. And now if you see, when I go to the slideshow mode, there is a certain way in which the animation plays. If I go here, you can see that this is how the animation plays. If you are interested, you can always mix things up. Like you can select this and then click and drag each of these individual events so that you can really mix them up so that you have a very different kind of an effect because you will see that the paint splash happens from all directions. The final result will be something like this. And when you go to the slideshow mode, you will see that we have all kinds of paint splashes happening from all directions. And this looks really captivating. I'm going to show you some creative alternatives of showcasing your photos in a creative way. And all the templates I'm about to show you are taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. In case you don't know already, this bundle is a collection of more than 4,020 premium PowerPoint templates that allow you to convert any boring text-based slide into clear and compelling visual slide. The first example of showcasing different photos is this one. As you can see, we talk about key aspect around which everything revolves. On a click, I show five photos and the key aspect is at the center and all the five photos are revolving around that key aspect. Needless to say, it is very easy to replace these pictures with just a couple of clicks. The next example of showcasing five images with descriptions is this one. On a click, I showcase the first picture and then I show the relevant description. And then I showcase the next picture and then the description. These kind of interesting effects have a way of capturing the imagination of your audience. And these are all ready-made available and you can replace these pictures with just a couple of clicks. Another example is this one where we talk about picture and text in five different sets. The first one is like this. You can see that this is the picture and the explanation. And then we move the focus to another picture and the explanation and this one and explanation and this one. So this is another way in which you can showcase five different pictures. Another example is this one where we talk about linking different units. As you can see, this is one picture. On a click, we have space available for us to write some more details. And first we talk about one of the components. This is another picture and then the description, another picture, another picture. The last example of showcasing three different photos with their explanation is this one where you can see that the focus is on one picture while the remaining two pictures are slightly transparent. You can see that we have details about point one here. On a click, you get the second photo brought into focus and we talk about the second point here. And then we bring in the third photo in focus and we talk about that. These kind of animation effects are definitely interesting. And when you buy comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, all these animations are already done for you. Imagine creating all these animation events by yourself. It takes a lot of time and a lot of skill to create these kind of professional effects. And that is the reason why it is a smart idea to get good templates like this, replace the pictures with your own pictures, and you would be able to have totally professional slides in a matter of minutes. I will leave a link to this product in the description box below the video. You click on the link and know more about this useful product. And finally, if you want to receive exclusive PowerPoint tips and tricks that I share only with my email subscribers, please click on the link here and join our newsletter called Success by PowerPoint. You will be the first to know about any new product introduction. You will get the first access to our giveaways, you will get access to our free email courses, and more importantly, we provide product discounts and offers only to our email subscribers. So please click on the link here and take your PowerPoint to the next level. I'll see you in the next video.